Welcome WrestlingFigs.com. We are in New York City, Toy Fair 2010, joined by PJ. PJ, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Good. I'm doing great. Excited to be here. Excited. I'm excited, man. It's Valentine's Day. Look at you dressed in pink, looking hot. Hey, it is Valentine's Day. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. You too. I'm sorry I didn't bring your rose. I apologize. It's all right. It's all right. Next year. <laughs> Next year. All right. I hope so. Okay. If you're still around, I mean, you know, I heard some big news about you this time. What's going on? Tell us a little bit about what's happening with you. Well, it's been an exciting time to work uh, with WWE, and it's been a long time that, uh, you know, we've been working on this rollout, you know, and uh, I will be moving on. We'll be moving on to uh, some other brands, oh. uh, but in a little bit, introduce you to uh, who will be taking over, and uh, I can talk a little bit more about some of the product moving forward. Can you tell us a little bit about what brands you're going to be moving over to? <laughs> I'm going to be moving over to the Warner Brothers DC Comics uh, license as well as Cartoon Network, some of the fun stuff that we do also at Mattel. Great. So a great promotion for you, right? It's fun. Yeah. And you've been working on this line for a couple of years, though, right? Mm. It's been, you know, since that, when was it, 2008, where you and I first yeah. had our uh, I guess it was. our interview at Toy Fair, right after we announced the WWE license. So it's been a, it's been quite some time. I think that interview went something like this. So tell us a little bit about the figure. No comment. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you've come a long way. You've done one wonderful job, let me tell you. Now, we are here at Toy Fair. A lot of big news going on here. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about some of the series that you all have unveiled today. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, you know, starting, do you want to come yeah. on in? All right. Starting over here, we're actually showing some of our uh, first production uh, production samples of our Survivor Series wave. This is our pay-per-view two wave uh, from Survivor Series down in uh, Washington, D.C. Um, you know, got uh, Kofi in, in the yellow, John Cena in the orange. Uh, great decos of Rey Mysterio, John Morrison, Miz looking good, of course. Oh, yeah. And Undertaker had uh, you know, a unique, unique deco uh, for that uh, pay-per-view as well. So we're showcasing all that stuff. Yeah, Survivor Series is hot. I mean, that was that was one of the biggest pieces so far today that you guys unveiled, and then you got a little bit more later on that we're going to show show the fans at WrestlingFigs.com. Now, tell us a little bit about how you have expected this line and 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 where it has been, come from, where you expected it at the first date till now. Where are we at in your mind since you helped launch the line? How do you feel about it? Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I think everything's gone been fantastic. I remember talking uh, a lot to collectors, and I've talked to you about some of the conversations we had about delivering on superstar scale, delivering on some of the things that you know fans wanted to see, updated decos, making sure that we capture the changes in uh, the real ring attire. And I think we've done a fantastic job of doing that. And you know, the ability to have something like a pay-per-view wave that can really be fluid and capture some of those new decos. Uh, so you know, we saw Kofi in the green, which was something we designed uh, some months ago, and then we could change to another Kofi outfit in the yellow. You know, something like. That uh, so it's fantastic to see how reactionary we can be, and we're trying to be as reactionary to maintain uh, certainly as the as the programming moves forward, we can maintain current current uh, decos and uh, current superstars. Now with with the Survivor Series line, I mean we're only in the first month of production for you guys as far as you know being out there to the public. I mean this is a pretty quick turnaround. Tell us Very a little bit about what happened to that. Well, we, we spent a lot of time uh, you know with our engineers and uh, design partners to make sure that you know at the end of November we actually saw you know all watch the pay per view, and uh, we decided shortly thereafter that Monday Tuesday who we were going to go after. I think uh, we had a little bit of a fan poll as well up on our Facebook site. Uh, and, you know, it was amazing, when, you know, hearing from everyone, uh, you know, what they wanted to see and, you know, the best, best of the best, I think uh, they were able to choose and uh, we chose a couple as well and we're here. And there's some new modes. They look pretty good too. I like those. Tell us now the expectations. Mm -hmm. Are you excited about them? Have, have they reached your goal or beyond your goal? Tell us a little bit about that. The figures themselves, I think, are fantastic. You know, I think the ability to see as we get deeper into, you know, our assortments and you start to see some other body types come out, it's fantastic when you really just display them all. And I've seen some great photos uh, up on WrestlingFigs.com of some of the fans with their figures, you know, putting everything in scale and, you know, some of the comments and we're just so fired up and just passionate about uh, your reaction to uh, our product line. Now the sales, they have just exceeded expectations all the way around from Maddie, right? Sales been great. Sales have been great. Good. You know, we're thrilled with uh, you know what's going on with the WWE brand of Mattel. Now you did give a shout out to the Facebook. Tell us what the Facebook page is, mm -hmm. so that fans out there might be able to follow you guys on that. Absolutely, it's a fan page that we have on Facebook. Uh, search uh, WWE Mattel. Please join. You know, we were up at uh, Ringside Fest. You know, right. handing out some cards. We had a lot of fans. A lot of folks. Uh, joined uh, right after that, but uh, you know you get some product updates. We'll do some fan polls. We want to hear from you as much as possible. So please, please join us up on Facebook. All right, let's move over here to sure. the uh, to the Legends line because uh -oh. this is something. Uh -oh. Then we'll come back down here. The Legends line is something that has just been hot today. Okay. Today, okay. I mean, all over. People are excited about this. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about it. Now we have packaging. We do. Now that's pretty cool too, and the packaging has something special in it. Tell us a little yeah. bit about it. 
Well, we spent a lot of time uh, with WWE and uh, talking to them about what, where we could take the Legends line and uh, absolutely came up with a very, very fun way of uh, depicting some of these great superstars of WWE. You know, what we have here is Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Which was just debuted here. Which was just debuted here. Uh, it's going to be in our first mix, Wave 1. We're thrilled to be able to showcase him. And you see that he is uh, with his Komodo Dragon. Yep. And in the back, you know, you kind of get to see a uh, great kind of almost animated version yeah. of uh, it's a sketch version of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So we're just absolutely thrilled to, one, have him in our first line for Legends. But uh, very cool as we create great um, animated looks at all of these fantastic legends in our wave one. Now we've got Stone Cold, we've got Sergeant we Slaughter, the Road Warriors, you know, you have Ricky Steamboat and Dusty Rhodes. Mm -hmm. Now these all, these also come with stands, correct? They do, they will. They're, the, uh, they're an elite collection, uh, both articulation, stands, uh, removable ring attire. You know, we just want to be able to capture everything, all the detail that we had in Elite Collection and continue that on with our Legends for the fall. And the clothing is awesome, too. Very cool. No, no expense spared, right? Hey, you know it. We want to capture the authentic ring attire we hear from you guys. All right. Now, R Rowdy Piper back here. Oh. That's going to be an entrance crate, is that correct? Yes, he is going to be an entrance crate. Yep. Rowdy. That's another new one. That is another new one, uh, as is the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Both will be entrance crates uh, for the fall. We're thrilled to have them uh, again with uh, authentic ring attire. Uh, removal accessories, and they'll have stands with uh, their music playing as well. Looks great. Looks great. You guys have done one heck of a job. Absolutely. All right, let's move down here. Sure. We see Crime Time. Crime Tell time. us about Crime Time. First time you can see Crime Time. We actually uh, we had a lot of fun with Crime Time. We actually sh uh, had a chance to show them their action figures up in L.A. Uh, some months ago, and they were just so thrilled. They loved them. They love the superstar scale. They right. love that aspect of uh, their action figures. Great guys, and yes, we'll have them in our uh, two packs uh, wave three. All right, let's scoot on down here and we'll show some uh, something new. Yeah. All right, here we go. We were going to save this to later, but since PJ's here mm -hmm. and he's going to be moving on, I think he should introduce this and then we'll go into detail later. Tell us now, you guys had the Ricky the Simbo come out we did. basically a little early, wasn't supposed to until today itself, mm -hmm. came out yesterday. Mm -hmm. And you guys decided to work on the ball and just say, hey, you know what we're going to do? We're going to give the fans something to surprise them. Tell yeah. us what happened and how that came about. Well, we just had a quick turnaround. We were able to get some uh, some early prototypes, early prototypes, and uh, essentially, you know, paint models of our Wave 2. We have five of the six Wave 2 uh, action figures here, uh, and we're just absolutely thrilled to be able to share them on Collector Night here at Toy Fair. So uh, very happy to uh, come on, bring them in here. Superfly Snugga, Shake the Snake Roberts, of course with the King Cobra. Right. Uh, that's kind of fun, right? You know, that's a very, very fun one. Iron Sheik, you know, paying attention to the curved detail, toes. Yeah. You know, the detail, Rick Rude, uh, and of course Terry Funk. You know, I think what's fun here in Wave 2 is, you know, you're seeing some versions of guys that uh, you've never seen before. Right. And we really want to celebrate that, and that's something we want in our Legends line. And when you see them with their full accessories, mind you, these are just paint models. They don't have the, ring, the authentic ring accessories. Um, I think the fans are going to be thrilled, absolutely well, thrilled. What we I have. mean, the media was. I mean, the media was all over this. When you all debuted, it was like, right, cameras right. everywhere, right? It's great. It's fun. A lot of fun.